everybody, it's me Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell notification button as I'm posting every Mondays and Fridays and don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. So now that we got that over with, <laughs> let's get into these questions. Okay, so earlier today I posted something on my Instagram story and by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I'll leave my handle somewhere on the screen, and if not, it's Natalie Diaz official, so go follow me right now. But anyways, I posted something on my story just letting you guys know that I'd be doing a get to know me video, and so I asked you guys to submit any questions you may have had for me, and you guys went off. Like, you guys sent me so many questions that I probably won't be able to answer all of them today, um, but I'll leave any questions that I can't get to for any future videos, so don't worry. I'll get to them eventually. Anyways, let's get into the first question. The first question is, where did you grow up? So, normally I would say Toronto, Canada, but I say Toronto because everyone knows where Toronto is, but I really was born in Richmond Hill, Ontario, but I grew up in Vaughan. So I would say Vaughan, born and raised, honestly. It really feels like that. Two, where do you currently live? I'm living back home with my parents. Um, unfortunately, with the whole pandemic, I had to leave my Boston apartment behind and come back home. Um, but you know what? I'm with my family, so nothing beats that. Okay, next question. How tall are you? I'm really short. I would say I'm 5'2", and on a really good day, 5'3". <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really short. But it's okay, that means I can wear heels. Okay, this is a very important question. Dogs or cats? Guys, that's like, that's not even a question, dogs all the way. I mean, I like cats, I just feel like cats don't like me. I'm a very affectionate person and I feel like cats don't really dig that all the time. Not all of them, but the ones that I've met haven't really liked that and all the dogs that I've met, they love affection, they love being, you know, pet and all that stuff. So I would say I'm more of a dog person, so yeah. What year were you born? I was born 1999, I'm the last 90s baby. Okay, next question is, are you or have you gone to college? So, for most of you that do know, I go to Berklee College of Music, which is in Boston. I major in music business and management, and I'm actually graduating next semester, which is so insane to even think about. Like, four years went by so quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm graduating this May 2021, and it's just kind of a bittersweet feeling because I'm really excited to just start this new chapter of my life but I'm also really sad to, you know, say goodbye to this part of my life because, you know, you only go to college once and you only live these four years once. So it, it's really bittersweet, but I'm also really excited for what the future has for me. Okay, next question is, what is your spirit animal and why? That's a really good question. I would say any animal who has like a really calm but wild side to them as well because I feel like I'm like that too. I would say maybe even like a wolf and not because i like dogs but i think like wolves have like this really calm aura to them like this calm energy but at the same time you know they will go wild if they have to protect their family or just protect themselves like they're savages when they have to be and i feel like i have that in me as well so i don't know i would say wolf i would say wolf yeah another question is what perfume do you wear? One time you walked past me and I wanted to ask you what scent you were wearing because it smelled so good, but I was too shy. Oh, honestly, I used to be shy as well when like girls would walk past by me and they would smell so good. I would get so like shy to ask them like, hey, what perfume are you wearing? It smells so good. Don't, don't be afraid to ask. I think that's like one of the nicest compliments is like when you smell good. Um, so it's probably the Versace Bright Crystal. I've been wearing that one forever, probably like five, six years. Um, but I also wear the Giorgio Armani one, Her. I think that's what it's called. I haven't worn that one for too long, but yeah, it, it was probably the Versace Bright Crystal. It's really good, definitely recommend. Okay, next question is, do you like tea or coffee? Tea all the way. Coffee makes me too anxious and it upsets my stomach, so yeah. Lately, I've been into chai lattes. They're so good, so definitely tea. Okay, so the next question is, do you speak any languages and how well? I do, I speak Spanish. I would say that I speak it well. It's not 100% perfect, but that's probably one of the ways that I communicate most with my parents. Um, typically we speak Spanish, but at the same time they also speak English as well, but that's what we just end up speaking the most in the house. Um, but yeah, I would say I'm fluent. I can read, I can write. It's just not always 100% perfect and my vocabulary is pretty average. So yeah, 
creo que si lo tengo que hablar, lo puedo hacer de nuevo. Me defiendo, pero no es perfecto. Pero si tengo que tener una conversación, lo puedo tener. Okay, so next question is, a lot of you guys ask this question. Hmm. Boys, so I'm just gonna get it over with. Okay, so the question is are you single or taken guys? I am very much single I'm sure you guys are happy to hear that but unfortunately for you I think right now. I'm really happy um, With being single. I'm just really taking this time to learn about myself to work on myself and just to grow and just Focus on me really and focus on my career and my school and just my future in general. So I think I learned a lot from my last relationship, like a lot, and um, I, I know what I want for my next relationship, and so I know I won't be able to find that overnight. I'm I'm willing to wait for a couple of years, because um, the standards are really high, boys. The standards are really high, um, so yeah, not really looking for anything. Again, if the right relationship were to come into my life, I'm more than willing to accept that. But if it doesn't, for right now, I'm totally happy. I'm totally okay with that. So, yeah, that's that's the tea, boys. That's the tea. Okay, so the next question is, if you can be any famous celebrity for a day, who would you be and why? Honestly, I think I would be one of the Kardashians or Jenners just because I would love to go into their closet and try on their clothes. Not even gonna lie, that would be pretty freaking cool. For a day, for a day at least. So yeah, any of the Kardashians or Jenners. Next question is, who inspired you to become a singer? I would say, I mean, it's just easy. I would say Selena, um, just because she just has such an inspiring story and such a relatable story as well. I mean, her dad loved music and really introduced her to that world. And you know, my dad also loved music and introduced me to the world of music. And so I really relate to her. I think a lot of girls were able to relate to her and I think she inspired so many people. Um, and she just had such a beautiful soul and just such a beautiful light about her. Um, so I would definitely say that she was someone who really inspired me. To become a singer. Someone asked what made you come to Berkeley? I think what made me come to Berkeley was you know they actually came to my school in high school and they did a whole presentation and I fell in love with just Berkeley itself you know being able to see how many amazing people attended that school and that just really made me excited I was like I need to go to that school I need to be there I need to you know, leave my mark and I think, yeah, just seeing how many successful people went to that school was something that really attracted me to Berkeley and just Boston itself, it's such a great city um, and yeah, I think also I was at a point in my life where I feel like I was ready to um, kind of leave the nest as well. Um, I'm really close to my parents and so I love them so much but I think at the age of 18 I was ready to just discover something new in my life. I think Boston was kind of the perfect fit for me so yeah. Someone asked when are you releasing more music? Um, very soon. I just feel like for me I'm such a perfectionist and honestly I don't think any of my projects, anything I do will ever be 100% perfect for me and that's something that I've been trying to overcome because at the same time it could also be a very destructive quality um, and it could be a quality that really holds me back even with my YouTube videos when I'm editing I'm like oh this isn't good enough to some point I'm like oh I'm not gonna post this but I really have to learn that we all have to start somewhere and if you don't start with something then you're never gonna get ahead or you're never gonna get better because you're just always gonna be in that one spot stuck so I feel like for me, it's just been hard, especially because I'm so passionate about music that everything I want to do, I want it to be like the most perfect thing I've ever created. And you know, that's the thing. There's no such thing as perfection. So I'm just trying to be a bit easier with myself, a bit more kinder to myself, definitely less hard on myself when it comes to everything 
and obviously that has to do with music as well so I'm thinking probably the beginning of this upcoming year so thank you for everyone's patience um, I'm really appreciative of it and don't worry new music will come out and then from there hopefully I can get out of that like phase of being stuck and really start just coming out with songs because I think that's really what it is it's like not every song that you're gonna release is gonna be perfect or even good but that's the beauty of it that you can just keep releasing more and more and more and before you know it you're gonna come out with probably a few or you're probably gonna get this, the hang of things of creating songs of songwriting of you know working with producers and all that stuff okay the next question is okay what do you love most about yourself um uh, i would say if i have to say something that i love about myself is i really do think i'm a very compassionate person i think i have a really kind heart i would like to say no i would say that i i'm really kind and i'm really I really like to care about other people and sometimes that's also a quality that can be a bit destructive because sometimes I care about people more than I care about myself and sometimes that puts my um, feelings in jeopardy and it can put my mental health and just my emotional health on the line because I rather not hurt someone's feelings but then I end up hurting my own. I really think that's something that I do love about myself because no matter how much someone can hurt me, I still feel compassion towards them. I still don't want to hurt their feelings. But I am learning that my feelings and my emotional health and my mental health is much more important because at the end of the day, you know, I have to live with myself. <laughs> and so I would say that that's probably one of my qualities that I, I do love about myself. Even though it can be something that can hurt me, I think still at the end of the day that's something that I really do love about myself that, you know, I, I'm compassionate and I really care about people. <laughs> Someone asked, who would you be in the Hunger Games? Um, I would be the first person who dies. I don't know what the character's name is i don't know who it is but i'm just the person who dies first because yeah no yeah i probably wouldn't last a minute but whoever died first that's me I, i'm that person in the hunger games who is your celebrity crush um honestly lately this past month i've been really losing my mind over uh chris pine I love Chris Pine. He's just such a well-rounded man. Like, he's an actor, he's a singer, and he's so talented. He's such a gentleman. I really love him. Him or Harry Styles. I love Harry Styles. Have you seen his new haircut in his new movie? He's so beautiful. So I would say, I would definitely say him. Anyways, guys, my battery's about to die, so that's probably all the questions I'll be able to get to for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and for everyone who's been supporting me in these last few weeks on my YouTube channel. The likes, the comments, subscribing to my channel, like that means so much to me. So thank you so much for all the support. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys could enjoy this quick little video I made and I'm definitely going to make more of these because I have a lot more questions to answer. Um, but that's all for today. So thank you so much. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe as we're a small but growing family. And I'm I'm sending you lots of love and like Natalie. Mwah.